Hello everybody, Sam Lockhamlock here, and I'm going to do a review on Underscore's Fine Style. Now, I have this on the PS3, so it's not going to be as good as on the PC. Because on the PC, you have commands, you can put on God mode, you can minimal, you can make people small, you can make them big, massive. So that's, that's, that's the reason why it's better on the PC. PS3 is it's not as good. But anyway, um, it's better on PC. Yes, yeah, I said. Um, this this game is actually this game is excellent. I mean, it's a role playing game. Um, it's basically about uh, like your your dragon barn, which which means that you um, well you're born uh, like you can kill dragons with your voice, kind of, or use your voice your voice. You're born with it. And like you kill, you can kill them. You can slay them easily, and other people can. Like there's very few in the ages supposed supposedly. That's what they say in the game. Well, basically, this game that's pretty good, but there's some downsides to it. Would you shut up? All right. Um, but sorry about that. I'm just rage quitting. Um. Oh yeah, Dra you know the dragons in this game are actually you'd probably think they're hard, but they're actually really easy. I know because every time I go to a village, mostly, um, it's re it's really good. Uh, especially, well, basically the storyline starts off with your a your prisoner, and you're off onto you're on a a wagon. And you're you're whole held captive for I don't know what you're held captive for to mean like you commit some crimes and stuff. But anyway, <laughs> sorry, you commit some crimes and you're you're gonna be executed with other people. But a dragon comes and uh, it's it's like you're meant it's meant to happen, and you get out of hell again. And uh, you're crying. You don't. You're not held captive anymore. I mean, like you don't have to be killed because you're a dragonborn, basically. Well, as everybody is not supposed to be killed, but um, it's a pretty good game in general. But there's a downside to it. I hate this. The frost trolls. Some of you might know them. They're actually really hard. They're harder than dragons. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry for the going over and looking at Dan's play. Subscribe to me. Uh, Dan's play. Yeah, you, you might know him. Some of you might. But anyway, um, yeah, it's a pretty good game. But there's, there's the problem is, shut up. There's frost trolls, and they're actually harder than dragons. I swear to God. If so, if you people have played this game, PC or well, PS3. I say in PC you could use command. But well, anyway, the PS, the PC is better because this downside about PS3 is that the frost trolls are harder than the dragon barn, the dragon, sorry, which makes no sense, and also that the joints are harder than the frost trolls, but which is <coughs> pretty normal. But that means that the joints are harder than the dragons, which is not normal still, you know. But um, it's better on the PC because basically you do, you can. Um, to download mods and stuff and use them and there's also a mod on the PC where you can play uh, online with other people which is really good but it's pretty laggy I think it's supposed to be or you saw person things but I think they're working on the PS3 with an online thing on it but I can't use I can't download on to the PC upstairs because I can't it won't run it it'll be it'll be really laggy really laggy so anyway uh, I have another game, it's Elder Scrolls 4. Uh, this game, it's Oblivion. This game is actually pretty good. It's hard to tell which one is better. Uh, but I think that Skyrim is better. Some of you might argue. Although I think Oblivion's better because it just brings back the good memories. It's kind of sentimental value. But, um,. This is this is a really hard game. I'm not sure what Oblivion's about the main storyline, but this is basically about you being dra a dragonborn. It's it, it's a role playing game. It's uh, it's a free. It's um 
open world game, and I'd really suggest this. It's better than all these um, open world games. It's better than Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, well, this is the episode from Movie City, but it's better than Grand Theft Auto 4, the original. And it's also better than Just Cause 2. I personally think now, this is an opinion. Don't, uh, you can criticize me, you can argue. It's your, I respect your opinion, but that's what I think. Uh, there's more to the game. I've had a lot of trouble in the game. I found the Elder Scroll, which is basically the main thing in the game. And uh, well, when I did my uh, the si my uh, PS3, the system got corrupted. Well, uh, well, actually, that's how well, I had to start again. Uh, so that's kind of a that was kind of a problem. What the hell are they? Oh, okay. Um, still not there, I don't know. It's a fish, oh. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's that's basically my review. It's a, well, I'd really recommend this game if you were gonna buy. It. But if you were gonna buy it, but get it on the PC. But if you wanna get use it on the PC, you've gotta have a good PC. Like I mean, a, a game PC that can run Minecraft at all 100 frames a second. A hundred thousand. I uh, know I don't care for well maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. But um so this is ba that was basically my review. Um there's a, there's not there's very few sorry, uh, there's very few expansion packs to this. I think there's only like two or three, I think, I checked. But um compared to Oblivion, can I just check there's none on that. Uh, two Irish people playing this. Yeah. Uh, compared to compare compared to Oblivion stuff, Skyrim ha I think is better. So basically, this is my review on the Elder Scrolls Five. Skyrim, I really suggest buying it. But uh, well, basically, I'm, I'm uh, dragging out of it. Uh, bye, everybody.